I'm really excited. Um, obviously, I've been training with the girls and had a one or two matches um, since I joined, and I'm just really, really enjoying it. Actually, yeah, it's really good. Yeah, you, you at the beginning of your career, you started with uh, Spurs Ladies Reserves. Uh, I mean, when you're when you're starting out at that age and you're in such a high level environment already, I mean, surely that must be beneficial just right from the get go. Uh, yeah, I'd say I've always thrived in very professional setups and very sort of uh, intense environments. Uh, I feel like it, I like the sort of high intensity of training and um, the commitment and what the coaches expect of you. Um, I think it definitely pushes the best out of all the girls in the team, but obviously, and that helps you to sort of develop as a player as well. So, yeah, I'd say I've always sort of thrived in those sorts of environments. I mean, you're a number 10. How would you describe yourself just as a player, really, i.e. your best attributes to the Oxford fans? Um, I'd say I'm quite a visual player. Um, I like to get on the ball and um, make... I say I've got quite good pitch vision, so I can make those passes. Um, and I like to sort of, sort of link up the play. Um, and, yeah, I just... I just work hard for the team. I'll make sure I'm doing the defensive work as well as the attacking work. Um, but yeah, I'd say definitely my best attribute is sort of that link-up play and finding those passes that um, can sort of trick the defenders out. Yeah, I mean, when when you look at the squads we've got fitting into that into that team with the likes of you know Kaylee Hines around you, Cheryl Williams, you name it, it must be exciting when you have when you have that talent around you. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think the squad is absolutely quality. Um, the standard of the girls is everyone's just such a good player so even training with them like I'm I've felt myself improve already the intensity and the uh, pace at which they play at helps my game and it helps me to sort of think on my feet think quicker and play faster um, which is obviously really good to for my development but yeah and a few years ago the 2015-2016 the season I found a great stat from your time at Harlow Town 33 goals in a season. I mean, what do you make of that? Yeah, um, that was a long time ago. So <laughs> I don't think I've scored that many since. But um, yeah, I definitely uh, look to be clinical with the ball. Um, and yeah, can't complain if I'm scoring. So yeah, that's definitely, um, that was definitely a good season. Yeah. And after your, uh, after your time at Spurs, you moved to America for a bit. Yeah, just tell us about that. Uh, yeah, so obviously I was at Spurs for a bit, um, but I got a um, scholarship to go to America to play football. Um, I was in a Div 2 um, school and for me personally, the quality wasn't what I was expecting, what I was looking for. I didn't really feel I was pushing myself. So as much as I enjoyed the experience, I didn't actually, I didn't stay out there. So I came home after about a year because I just didn't really feel like the football was pushing me in that was the primary reason that I was out there so I sort of weighed it up and there wasn't really much point in me staying if I was just going to be playing at a mediocre level um in the states but yeah besides the quality that you mentioned there was there any noticeable differences just around you know the football culture in America and all that sort of sides of it than, than there is in England yeah definitely it's very much um kick and run it's definitely not got the technical spin to it that English football has which why it sort of didn't fit my game as much because I'm much more of a technical player than I am a sort of running everywhere I don't think speed is one of my attributes um, but yeah America is very much sort of all about the pace and just sort of getting the ball up the pitch and running after it which as a number 10 who wants to link up play it almost kind of skipped you out because it would just be from defence straight to attack and it would just be a bit of a yo-yo. So um, I'd say definitely the technical side of football is much more um, dominant in England, um, which is what I prefer. But yeah, it was it was still a, a still good game. Um, but yeah, the physicality and um, the sort of sort of style of game is definitely different in America. And now, of course, you signed for Oxford. What were the what were the talks with Liam Gilbert like? Uh, yeah, good. Um, I think when I spoke to Liam, I had uh, one or two clubs to sort of decide between, and he sort of said to me, "Look, where are you going to actually improve? Where are you going to find yourself pushing your game and helping you develop?" Um, and 
it was quite clear to me that just from the training sessions and the standard of the sort of well the intensity and everything surrounding Oxford was just definitely a very much a much better setup for me to actually improve my game um, than the other options I had. Did you say as well the club's aim to to get promoted this year you know there's high ambitions did play a part as well do you think? Yeah definitely I don't think you ever want to be um, sitting in a club that's uh, bottom of the table or, mid- uh, or mid-table. Um, I feel like that was definitely a big part for me because um, I was kind of torn between whether I'd get game time at a lesser club or sort of improve my game and push for a spot in a club that's competing. But ultimately, you want to be at the top of the table. You want to be winning games. And it's much more of an achievement when you're sort of um, doing that and you're winning. Uh, so when you're playing football and winning, it's obviously much more enjoyable. And the beginning of the league season is not far away now. Gillingham away, that will be a good test to start us off, do you think? Yeah, definitely. I think um, I'm still settling in, obviously, with all the girls and sort of um, finding my feet in the club. But I definitely think that I've already kind of felt much more comfortable playing in matches and training. And I'm just really excited to sort of get it underway, to be honest, yeah.